what's that? Oh dear. Maybe we just won't look at that side. Greetings and salutations, neighbors. Welcome to another Anthony Around Town video. My name is Anthony. By the time this video comes out, Christmas will have been uh, about a, a few days ago, about a week or so ago. So first off, before anything else, I just want to say I hope you all had a Merry Christmas. Whatever holiday that you and your family celebrate, I hope it was fantastic and you all just had a great time. But what I wanted to do today was actually show you a little bit about how my Christmas went. Now obviously I spent a lot of time with my girls, Evie and Maddie. We do a lot of fun stuff and spend a lot of great holidays together. But sometimes Evie and Maddie will go spend a holiday with their mom. Sometimes they'll be with me, sometimes they'll be with her. For example, they were with me for Thanksgiving, so this year for Christmas, they actually spent that day hanging out with her and their family over there. And you know, that's just kind of the realities of the single dad life, you know? Sometimes you, you miss out on certain holidays or certain events just based on how the calendar lines up. And because of all that, I was actually able to go spend the Christmas holiday essentially kid free and kind of go and spend it with my family through a different sort of perspective you guys go and check out what I mean and hang out with me over there and then make sure you come back here afterwards though so I can share with you my epic dad fail of the week ho 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 enough talking though let's go relive some awesome Christmas memories well what's up neighbors here with Maddie and Evelyn and, and our Christmas tree and our Christmas tree there's our tree I don't think you've seen it yet, but... Oh, guys, it's four more sleeps until Christmas. So we are a few days away from Christmas, but it's kind of a sad day here at the house because this is the last day before Christmas that I'm actually going to be with Evie and Maddie because they're going to be going off with their mom. So we're just kind of hanging out. You guys think that you guys are going to have a, a fun time Christmas with your mom? What do you think? Yeah. Guys, I painted this for my daddy last night. She did. She painted that beautiful picture for me last night. <laughs> yeah, it's right. Did you paint that for me because maybe you're going to miss me while you're gone? Yeah. What about you, Maddie? What do you think? And I, I'm going to keep this here so I can remember it here. He's going to give me these stickers so you can remember me while you're gone? Yeah. Oh, you guys are so sweet. You guys know that I love you very much, and I hope you guys have the best Christmas ever. I'm sad that we don't get to spend it together, but I'm happy that we get to go do fun stuff with different family and all that. Bye, Mr. Bear. Are you getting ready to have so much fun? Yeah! Super excited. guys, we're going to sleep in the hotel! Yeah! Where are you going? Bye, girls. I love you. We'll shut the door, okay? Bye. Bye. Good morning, neighbors. Uh, it's the next day for me. Made it to my parents' house safe and sound after I uh, dropped off the girls to their mom last night. Uh, it was a nice drive, you know? Staying positive is kind of what I try to be all about. And one positive thing about not having to drive several hours with kids in the car is that... Uh, you can kind of bust out the trip pretty quick because you're not stopping for bathroom breaks every hour or having to deal with snack issues and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, it was pretty smooth. Just kind of drove straight here and went to bed. And now I'm just chilling. Yeah, definitely already missed the girls. So before we left, we were obviously, like you saw, were hanging out yesterday. But throughout the day, they just... Uh, were making me drawings and Abby was painting me a lot of pictures and things like that and uh, she even had me make this little fitness video on my phone this one right here today I gotta be doing I gotta be doing gymnastics so here's my first gymnastics we're gonna keep doing it until I get it okay guys there's my daddy there filming me No, I thought it was just whatever. They like creating stuff just as much as I do. But what they told me right before we got in the car for me to take them to their mom was that they were making me all those different pictures and they had me record that video 
because they didn't want me to forget them while they were off doing their Christmas thing this week. Dad, you want to be watching this to remember me. So I just had to obviously assure them that as their dad, there's no way in the world I would ever, ever, ever forget them. I appreciate the art, I appreciate the video, but I'll never, ever forget them in a million, bazillion years, you know? I just hope that they always know that, no matter if we're in the same room celebrating the holidays together or not. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna go get dressed and eat some breakfast, and you know, get this Christmas week rocking and rolling. You see that handsome gentleman, everybody? That is me. They put me at the bottom of the tree, but we got another one over here. Where to go, where to go? There we go. Look at that face, that beautiful face. You know you love it. Yeah, it's Christmas Eve. We're just kind of vibing, hanging out. We got Uncle Brando here. There he is. You guys uh, remember Uncle Brando. He made Maddie's birthday cake. Anthony, remind the people what that birthday cake looked like again. Woo! So I had to see just layers of frosting. Bro. I think I might have failed. So we're all here just as a family hanging out. Got some family watching a movie over there. I'm hanging out with Uncle Brando. Actually, I think we're gonna make a TikTok. This TikTok right here that you're about to see. We're gonna make that right now. I want you guys to take a look and rate my package wrapping job. This is the package that uh, I'm gonna be giving my family members secret Santa thing that we're going to do tomorrow. So what do you think? I mean, I know it's not, ooh, ooh, what's that? Oh dear. Maybe we just wanna look at that side. But from the top, kind of looks okay, right? Ho, 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 Merry Christmas, everybody. It's Christmas morning. As you guys can see, I'm rocking my super comfy onesie jams. Say what you want, they're amazing. They feel so soft. And psh, if you're not wearing a nice pair of onesies on Christmas morning, are you even really doing Christmas right? Psh, I don't know about that. Uh, but yeah, just still, you know, hanging out. We haven't done presents yet or anything like that here, but I'm sure the girls are awake because the sun is out and they wake up when the sun comes out every other day of the year. And I can tear into you, they got up bright and early on Christmas. So let's try and call them and see what goodies they got at their mom's house. Hello, ho, ho, ho. What are you doing? You got some nail polish for Christmas? Oh my gosh. Ooh, that's beautiful. You got that for Christmas too? Hi, did you have a good Christmas morning? Daddy. Yes? What'd you get, what'd you get, what'd you get? Ooh, super stretch. Is that Ryan's toy review? Okay, go, 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 go. Pull, pull, pull. Ooh, I need some of that. Keep going, keep going. All right, girls, Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. What, what, what? Nice, I'm wearing my usual ones. It's comfy. Have a kiss. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I miss those kids. But I'm glad that they're, uh, I'm glad that they look happy and look like they're doing good, so. That's all I could wish on this Christmas morning. Even though, again, I'd love for them to be here. Uh, they look good, look like they're doing happy, having a good Christmas with their family, so that's good. So I'm gonna go downstairs and I'm gonna go get my Christmas on with my family here. So you guys wanna come? Saying good morning to my mom. We got Grandma Niece. There you go. Merry Hello. Christmas, Grandma Niece. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Uh, how has it been having your son home without your granddaughters? What's it been like having a kidless Christmas over here? It's different. I miss the babies. Hi, Maddie. Hi, Ev. Merry Christmas. We miss you. But, you know, 
the life of a single dad. I know it gets tiring sometimes, and so I'm glad that you get to just have some rest. And we stayed up late we last did. night we playing hard games. Last night. Yes. So. Yeah, fun times here at the Crosby's house. And even though that the grandkids aren't here, you still have a full house. You got all your kids here, brothers, sisters running around. You guys saw Uncle Brando yesterday. Uh, I'm sure we'll see the rest here in a few. But uh, yeah, so usually what we do is chill. We always have cinnamon rolls. We've got to bust out the eggnog. Yeah. That's what I'm looking forward to. So let's go do that. It's I'm never ready for a dull that. moment no. around the Crosby's. Oh, there's somebody right there. Oh, it's Uncle Brando. Look at that hey, onesie. Uncle Brando. Yeah. We're both rocking a onesie, all right. Just finished up with the family uh, gift exchange that I was telling you guys about. Check out this fresh looking beanie that Uncle Chris got me. It's pretty fly. Aunt Christine was the person that I uh, had to buy a gift for. So show everybody the sweet swag that I hooked you up with. I got this awesome cup that yeah. says best sister ever. Yeah, that's a gift one of two. There's supposed to be another gift, but I shopped local. And sometimes if you shop local, you uh, just have to be patient with the business owner. So she'll get something else in the future. I'll show you guys what that is later. But uh, Christine, you know what we do? We gotta see if this gift I got you gets a pass or is it just straight trash? What do you think? Mm -hmm. I'm nervous now. She's taking a long time to answer the question. I'll say pass. Yeah, all right. Even though, you know, you guys saw my gift wrapping skills not the best, present picking, you know, it's a little bit better than that. So I'll take it. It's all good. Hi guys, we're back. They're back. I missed you guys so, so much. Did you guys miss me? <laughs> Yeah? Mm -hmm. Did you guys have the best Christmas ever, though? Mm hmm Okay, well, what are some things you guys did? Don't leave me <gasps> hanging. Oh, we um, saw her puppies. Whose puppies? Santa Claus's puppies? No! Did you guys get anything cool for Christmas? Yeah. We got Beyblades. Beyblades? Blade you guys know about I got a cool one in my package. Well, I got a, well, I got a shark one. Nice. She got a shark one where she has to have a blade blade and then her um shark thing she has to put her blade blade Wait, into Daddy. the shark thing so she can blast Wait, it. Daddy. Well I definitely am glad you guys are back. I guys were able to blade blade it up. But I'm really good we're home. I missed you. But I gotta get you guys back to the house because I think Santa Claus might have made an extra stop at my house. So you guys want to see what goodies he may have left under the tree over at my house? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go. So yeah, neighbors, that was uh, my Christmas time. Again, obviously, I would have loved to spend it with Evie and Maddie, but uh, they did have a fantastic time hanging out with their mom, hanging out with their family over there, and ultimately, that's what it's all about. As long as they're happy and full of joy, then I'm gonna be happy and full of joy. And plus, I was able to get this sweet pack of underwear for Christmas, so, you know, can't complain too much, right? much needed right here but all right now it's time for me to share my epic dad fail of the week and this epic dad fail actually came uh, about a day after i got the kids back from uh, our separate christmases even though they had just gotten a lot of stuff for santa they had you know dollar bills so i told them i'd take them down to the local dollar store to spend those things and uh, we get down there and of course there's rows and rows of candy they can choose from there's little dollar toys they can choose from but no but instead they choose to get you know little glue on fingernails I guess I don't know what the exact word for those are but fingernails that you glue on your your hand with a special type of glue the glue was like a dollar the pack of nails is a dollar they had two dollars I was like fine whatever it is that's what you want 
let's just get it and go. But I didn't know. I thought the glue that they were getting for their fingernails was like uh, Elmer's glue, like a school school type of glue that could be washed off and wasn't that big of a deal. No, this glue is hardcore stuff and uh, they actually poured it all over their hands. They got it super sticky, it dried on, it was uncomfortable for them. They started getting upset. I got it on my hands. It was definitely not the best feeling in the world. It was not awesome. So after several minutes of soaking our hands in warm water and taking baths and scrubbing with soap and water, uh, we finally were able to get them off, but so yeah, I guess the moral of that story is if your kids ever ask to go spend money at a store, make sure they don't do it on fingernail glue, especially when they're only four and five years old. Well, all right, neighbors, that's gonna do it for this Anthony Around Town video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really do hope that your holidays were spectacular and uh, you have a great new year. So speaking of which, we'll see you next time in 2021, neighbors. So until then, I'm Anthony and we'll see you around.